Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Sagittarius, I just want to give you guys a quick update. Uh, for those of you guys that are wanting to get private consultations, you can now go to our online store and purchase those readings there, whether it's the 30-minute telephone reading or the video live reading. Uh, you can go to our store and you can purchase that now. Just want to give you guys a quick update and let you guys know availability is limited. We are now booking for December and January. As soon as we get filled up, um, you will no longer be able to purchase the consultations until further notice. So just want to give you guys a quick update um, for those of you guys that are wanting to get readings. Um, so we are at the end of the year, the busiest season for us in regards to spell work and in regards to consultations. So I wanted to be a little bit more proactive and give you guys the opportunity. Uh, instead of going through the whole uh, emailing and all of that, you can now purchase it online. So let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. Let's see what spirit has. I was about to begin the deck or shuffle the deck and we have the eight of swords. So feeling stuck, feeling restricted for some of you guys, um, trying to figure out where you're at at this point and where you want to be. Um, so for some of you guys, this could be in regards to relationships. For others of you, though, I feel heavily like it could be to do with your finances or career. Feeling a bit stuck, feeling like um, there is a need for change or there is a want for change. Now, let's get into the shuffling. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please step forward and guide us. What are the messages that Sagittarius needs to know at this present time for the month of November 2021? What can they expect? What is unfolding for them? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are you doing, Sagittarius? Are you guys excited? We are holiday season now, right? I don't know about you guys, but we definitely celebrate um, the holidays big time on my side. And we start Halloween. <laughs> so pretty stoked about that. Okay, let's get into your reading. First card here is the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel that for some of you guys, there could be some type of energy um, that you're currently dealing with that has to do with the past. Um, but I feel that for others of you, it could be almost the feeling of when is it going to get easier? When am I going to start to fully live my life? Because there's almost the feeling of like being restricted or not being able to, at least this is how you're feeling or seeing the situation. Like you can't fully live in the moment because it's almost like one thing after the other so i see you guys being extremely worried uh, for some of you guys being worried about the future um, for others of you being worried about not being able to see changes um, that could have been the reason why we had the eight of swords um, now we do have here the ace of cups um, for some of you guys hoping and thinking of a person um, wanting to see some type of fruition from that connection, wanting to see some type of movement. Um, for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that had a recent connection with someone um, in the past couple of months, um, there's almost like a, I'm constantly thinking of them. Um, they constantly pop in my head, but not really knowing how to approach the situation or how to contact or reach out to them. Um, they're showing me almost like covering your mouth. So it could represent like having a lot to say, but holding back. Now, your next card here is the seven of cups. There's a lot of distractions right now that you're currently dealing with Sagittarius, especially for those of you guys that are dealing with like romantic issues, whether it's stabilizing a relationship for others of you, whether it's trying to pull away from a relationship to be able to fully open up to new beginnings. With the Seven of Cups, though, I feel like you're scattered. Your energy is coming off as scattered. Like there's a lot of things that are unfolding or that are happening like in real time. And there's almost like a feeling of not being able to fully like focus in one thing because you're feeling like you're being pulled towards different directions. Um, but there is a higher 
higher energy here. And what they're telling you is stop scattering your energy, uh, Sagittarius. I was going to say Scorpio. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with the Scorpio. Um, but there's almost like they're telling you be crystal clear about what you're wanting and focus in the manifestation of that or focus in putting effort to be able to see results from that. It's almost like you guys have a tendency of starting something, but you find it very difficult to complete it. For some of you guys, it could be that you get bored. For others of you, it could be that you don't see quick results and then you kind of give up or you get on to something else. Um, so what they're telling you is if you want to see results or if you're wanting to see manifestations, you have to be patient. And with patience, you have to be focused on what you're wanting to achieve. Now, for those of you guys that are dealing with romance and you have or have been experiencing a bit of options, um, really focus on the person that's really pulling on your heartstrings. Because I feel like the more scattered you are or the more time and effort you give to different people, you end up picking the wrong people, Sagittarius. It's like you are so much after like the intense passion and desire that you kind of forget um, to really get to know the people or the person that you're dealing with. And you kind of have a tendency of like getting yourself into situations, especially relationship wise, get yourself into relationships where you then find out like they weren't what I thought, or we don't have a lot of things in common, or you grow tired of them very quickly, or they kind of bring a lot of inconsistency. So again, what they're telling you here is go towards the person that is really pulling on your heartstrings. For those of you guys that are just dealing with multiple people. Now for others of you, what they're telling you here is you need to be clear about what you're wanting out of life. Because I feel like there's frustration, there is wanting to see movement and progress. But if you keep going in circles without like having some type of destination, you will continue experiencing a lot of chaos in your life. Now, the next card here is the Eight of Wands. So again, it's like you have a tendency of running off of like running off of passion, going towards people that are very exciting. Um, and then you find out that they're either superficial or that the connection is superficial. So there, anything superficial is not something that is um, going to be long lasting. Uh, the Eight of Wands can also represent that you're currently dealing with someone from the past, but when it comes to fully being in, you know, invested in a relationship for some of you guys, your attention or your energy may be towards someone that is new um, and there is a need for you to take some type of action. And I feel for some of you guys, it could be because there's going to be a missed opportunity. Yeah. With the lover's card. I feel like for some of you guys, you may be dealing with third party energy. For others of you, it could be you, the one that has or feels stuck between two people. One that you genuinely feel like a very strong inclination towards. And another one where you feel like your loyalty stands with them. It could be the person that you've been with the longest. Uh, but what Spirit is telling you is, again, uh, if you refuse to make a choice or make a decision... Um, there's going to be almost like a feeling of regret here because you didn't fully invest in the one person that in the one person that really um, almost you know almost just appeared in your life. Um, Eight of Wands is passion. With the lovers card, I feel very strongly like. Yeah, you guys run off of a like passion. Anything exciting or anyone that pretty much um, is willing to take it to the physical aspect very quickly. That's the one you entertain. Um, and what they're telling you is you have to end this cycle. Uh, if you're really wanting to see something concrete and see something that is worthwhile. Because the seven of pentacles represents like being able to see the results and being able to see the results of either a true connection or true love. But if you can see here in the picture, your back is towards um, your back is towards the Ace of Cups. 
So I feel that for some of you guys, you feel stuck. If you are dealing with two people, I feel like you feel stuck because you've known someone the longest. You feel like there's responsibilities there or there's loyalty um, that they're expecting from you. And the new person is um, someone that is really like, even intuitively, you feel a very different connection towards and it's a, a connection you can't shake. But I feel that you're scared. For some of you guys, it could be like scared of making the move, scared of ending. And I know for a lot of you guys, we've been experiencing a lot of readings about karmic. So for some of you guys, you're still holding on to a karmic relationship um, because there's fear there in regards to the future. Um, but with the seven of uh, the seven of cups right at the center, your confusionness or your indecisiveness is basically what's keeping you stuck at the present time so you need to take action towards the path that is opening up for you whatever that means um because here with the lovers you see this right here there's like an opening right like a portal and it's the masculine energy and the female energy the yin and yang I feel like there is a very strong pull, very strong energy towards someone that recently came into your life, but I feel like you're refusing or ignoring this connection, and it could be for some of you guys, you're just scared of commitment, or you're scared of acknowledging the feelings you have for this person, because it's going to completely transform your life, and that could be scary, my lovelies, but that can also be a blessing. So again, make your mind up, Sagittarius, is what they're telling you, because you may miss out on an opportunity. Now, those of you guys that are currently single, don't be surprised if in the month of November, you start dealing with multiple people or you find out that multiple people are interested in you. And you're going to be getting to a point of feeling like you're a bit confused. Again, go towards the person that you feel that connection for, not the one that is the most um exciting because exciting can also represent one of the lessons that you need to learn um you know long term and commitment could be a scary thing especially for those that love freedom like you Sagittarius but um that emptiness or that feeling of wanting to feel genuinely seen felt and heard only comes from true connections so I wish you guys the very best. I hope it gives you some type of insight. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see each other soon. Bye.